Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be giving you a holistic overview of Azure Application Insights. So let's dive into the video. So I'm going into all services over here. I'm going to create an application insight because this we will going to utilize for the application level monitoring in few seconds. So here, so far what we did, we created a log analytics workspace and in the application insight, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the same uh, resource group. Here I'm going to give a name, let's say my test for web application, or we can say my test for application insight. The moment I'm giving this particular name over here, okay, there's a typo, anyways guys. Below that, you can see it is asking for the log analytics workspace. You can provide your log analytics workspace information. The location I'll be targeting East US over here. Let me check where exactly we created our first log analytics workspace. And then accordingly, we will be targeting the region over here. Because in the East US too, it was giving the name of the log analytics workspace that we created previously and that information is gone now. Let's quickly confirm where exactly the log analytics workspace has been created over here. Okay, it is in the East US region. It's just the delay from the Microsoft side that it is not reflecting. Initially, it shows that particular location for a few seconds and after that it is gone. We just need to wait guys over here. Yeah, it's not reflecting. We just have to wait. Just give me one minute. Why exactly that happened? Let me quickly check over here. Because this is a delay from the Azure side that we are not looking or able to see the log analytics workspace, which is there. Let me cross check once again. Yeah, guys, there is a delay. Yeah, we selected the right subscription and the resource group over here as well. We have selected the subscription, but it is not showing that particular log analytics. We will come back to the application insight in a while because we can only integrate if it will start showing this log analytics workspace. We will come back over here. Meanwhile, we will create these two virtual machine and the storage account. So going back to all services going into the VM. Okay, selecting the same resource group giving a name. Let's say VM over here. Selecting East US, Windows Server 2016 over here or 2019, whatever you would like to select, hardly matters. Selecting the size, D2S V3 configuration, here going to give a name VM. And right now I'm not enabling any agent that we will be separately enabling. So we know that what agent that we are enabling. Because if you go into this monitoring information, it does give you the option to enable the boot diagnostic. I'm keeping it disabled at the moment because we will enable it one by one in a while. All right, so I'm going to create this particular virtual machine now. And I'm also going to enable the security center as well at a subscription level. The reason is my subscription is new and it is going to take three to uh, approximately, you know, two hours to give you the recommendation from the Azure side. So by the time we are finishing the other topics, right? We want Azure to give us some recommendation over here, right? So once this particular virtual machine is getting created, what we will going to do, we will going to enable this Microsoft Defender for Cloud or you can say your security center because these recommendation takes time. So if you would like to see the recommendation, I'm going into security center over here. This is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Keyword is your security center. Going to click on this Microsoft Defender for Cloud or security center. And this you are enabling at a subscription level. How we enable it? Let's see over here. I'm going to click on get started. There's an option called upgrade. I'm going to click on it. It will give you the option. Select the subscription that you are looking for recommendation. Click on install agents. And what it will do, it will keep an eye on all the resources that you will going to create on this particular subscription. If you go into this particular environment option, right? Not only that you can get the recommendation for Azure resources, if any resources you will be creating in AWS and GCP and you are looking for the recommendation, you can also integrate that particular environment with Microsoft Defender for Cloud. You can see when you click on add environment, it gives you all the options for the Amazon Web Services and your Google Cloud as well. If you're having the subscription details, you can also integrate your AWS account over here as well to get the recommendation. Okay. Coming back, what we are trying to see over here is that if in case any recommendation that we would like to disable, can we do that? You can directly get inside the subscription of your from your Microsoft Defender for Cloud. You can click over here in the Defender plan and what you will have, you have this list of the resources that you are creating or you have created in the past. 
it will be giving you the option whether you would like to continue to get the recommendation or whether you would like to turn off any of those so if you know that if some of the databases that your organization is not working upon you can probably turn off those recommendations and you can get the recommendations for the relevant resources that you are trying to manage and you can save money so that is up to you how you would like to deal and optimize it we will going to come back on this because we may want to look into certain recommendations right now if you are going into the recommendation that field will be blank because it takes guys two to four hours to show up all the details over here and that is the reason in the beginning itself we are enabling so by the time we are finishing the rest of the discussion of the resources we have certain information available in your recommendations currently we are not looking into that because we need to discuss rest of the details so we will be focusing on log analytics and application inside a network watcher and then we will come back to the security center coming back guys so what we have right now is a one virtual machine and your log analytics workspace and i'm going to create a storage account as well because we might need to send the logs to a storage account as well and we will see the integration so here i'm going into rg over here once again i'm going to give a name let's say my stf for test over here i'm just creating a default storage account over here okay so storage account is also ready now let's see the integration so first thing we're going to talk about log analytics workspace how the log analytics workspace is getting integrated over here and before that let me create a another virtual machine on the same network so that on the later stage we can discuss network watcher as well though one resource is available but just to be on the safer side just to discuss the networking component i'm just putting another machine inside the same resource group over here on the same network so i'm going into the networking to check that it should not be creating another okay guys we'll create a separate machine in a while right now the network that we are trying to select over here is not visible there is a delay happening from the azure side that the recently created resources is not getting visible over here so if we are not able to see the network that we have recently created what it will do it will create a separate network or one thing we can do we can create these two machine in the two separate network and we can create vnet pairing between them let's do that rather waiting on that particular thing let's quickly create this particular virtual machine i'm going to give a name vm1 or you can say vm2 and this i'm creating in a separate network inside the same region and we can integrate these two networks over here through vnet pairing so that on the later stage if you will need to test the connectivity through the network watcher we should be able to do that and the first condition of your network pairing is that ip should not overlap so i'm just going to give another range altogether over here okay guys monitoring turning it off right now and we will create a vnet pairing between these two networks we are just waiting to see another network so that we can create vnet pairing you can see both the networks are visible now so rather putting both the machine in the same network i have just created into two different networks and i'm just targeting vnet pairing over here so the connectivity has to be there so here you can say rg vnet to new vnet let's say targeting another network here the name is new vnet to rg vnet okay guys job done I'm going to add this particular vnet pairing okay so connectivity will be there okay now coming back over here going back to the log analytics so what we did we created these two virtual machines in two separate networks and we connected them basically via vnet pairing so this is what happened right now we created a storage account so far the integration has not been done through the storage account that we will going to do first through the log analytics workspace and then later through the storage account for both the machines one by one okay so right now we will going to target the vm integration with the log analytics for that i'm going into log analytics workspace and here you will going into the option called workspace data sources right here if you going to click on vm you will going to see the list of the vms that you have created inside the subscription you can see vm and vm2 both are available i'm going to target on one machine i'm going to click on connect it is connecting now and i'm going to target it on the second machine as well i'm going to click on connect now what exactly happening right now while i'm trying to connect that your mma that is your microsoft monitoring agent getting 
deployed on these particular machines. So I'm going into this particular virtual machine over here, going to target VM. You can go into the extension and you can look for that information as well, that which particular agent is getting deployed. I'm going into the VM extension option and you can see this agent that is MMA is getting deployed over here. It is in the transition. That is your Microsoft monitoring agent. It is getting deployed. Now let's assume I need to integrate these machines for sending the IS log, crash dump log, full dump log, mini logs to the storage account, not to the log analytics workspace. That you can also do. For that particular requirement, what you need to do, you need to come back over here to the monitoring. Here in the monitoring, you do have the options available for the diagnostic setting. Click on this particular diagnostic setting option. You can see performance counter, log, crash term, sync, all this information are showing in the grayed out state. Why grayed out? Because right now it is not integrated with any of the storage account. Now, if you see in the drop down, the storage account that what we have created is not visible. We will going to integrate it in a while, guys, because it is not visible so far. This is storage account. Once the it will be started visible, uh, it will start it showing up over here. We will go ahead and integrate. We will going to wait it for a few more seconds, guys, because for some reason there is a delay happening from the Microsoft side. Recently created resources are not visible. So these two VMs is, are now integrated, creating the application insight, which we wanted to create initially, but log analytics was not visible. Let's see if that has started showing log analytics over here or not. Going into the application insight once again, going to click on create over here. You can see log analytics workspace is now visible. I can give a name to the application insight now, my test for application insight. And this will integrate your application inside with log analytics workspace and you can see this option is mandatory. So I'm going to click on create over here. Your application inside integration with the log analytics is done. VMs has been integrated with log analytics application inside has been also integrated and your application inside is pass. So we don't require any agent over here. It is directly getting integrated. So guys, this was our expert. And if you want to dive deeper, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on how to prepare for Azure Cloud jobs and certification. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why you should learn Azure Cloud, Azure Cloud certification roadmap for cloud engineers and architects, and a lot many questions that you might be wondering about. All you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash az30502. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now. Schedule an event date according to your availability. Add your full name, your email address, your phone number, and click on Yes, Save My Seat. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Add this link to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.